At times it was far from peaceful, but the streets of Hong Kong saw nothing like the violence of 24 hours before. Those who came looking for confrontation with the occupiers were led away by police who this time seemed prepared. This is Mong Kok, a bustling blue-collar district, now becoming a focal point in the campaign for more democracy, and one they won't give up. If we lose control of Mong Kok, uh, the momentum will be gone. You know, so it is extremely important. People will treasure this opportunity and uh, uh, to support this strategy to continue to maintain uh, Mong Kok as the major uh, center you know, for the uh, umbrella revolution. The world isn't just watching what's happening here. David Chu flew from his adopted home in Birmingham to volunteer. Every people know that it's active, I think, big change to be uh, than the before. Yeah. So this is different to what you've seen before? Yeah, first time. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, I've got a very cheap ticket to uh, back to uh, Hong Kong. There was tension as Occupy protesters defended the barriers that have come to define their presence on the streets against those who want them to move. What happens here next is, as much as anything, a test of Hong Kong's police after being accused of an overreaction with tear gas on Sunday of not doing enough yesterday to protect the Occupy protesters. There is a feeling now of a much more low-key presence and a test of what they choose to do should violence return to the streets. That test could come soon. Hong Kong's chief executive wants the roads cleared by Monday morning. Now the most urgent matter is to restore the accessibility of the path to the government headquarters on Monday to allow 3,000 government workers to do their jobs in serving the public. Also for the roads in Central and Wan Chai to be unblocked so all schools can resume classes. And this is one of the places he means where late into the night huge crowds gathered. The chief executive says police will take all action necessary to restore order. There is potential for the tension to boil over again. Greg Milam, Sky News, Hong Kong.